It's me, Supreme. I'm back with another review. Today I've got a exclusive from San Diego Comic Con. Comic Con of ages past, actually. I've got the Shadow Scout. He is from the Expanded Universe, and I am familiar with a lot of the Expanded Universe, but I'm not sure what he's from. If you know, please tell me. It's probably a comic series or a Dark Empire. Or... He's from something. I don't know what. But um, I had to take him out of the packaging. A lot of reflective glare on the packaging. I will show you parts of it, though. Of course, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Here's what he came on. And here is a good picture of him on the back. I'll also read this to you. Um, Shadow Scout Troopers, a.k.a. Storm Commandos, are trained for missions of deep infiltration. The uncover plots hatched by shadows in dark corners, and they dig up deadly secrets that can be used to make enemies cooperate. Their speeder bikes are designed for silence and speed, with tri tried reflective energy shield that prevents detection. Okay. I gotta ask myself, where were these guys in Endor and Hoth? Could have really used them in Endor. Anyway, um, the bike has got some cool paint, but it is basically the bike of ages past. If you have a speeder bike, it's probably similar to this. If yours explodes, this one doesn't explode like some of the earlier ones did to try to replicate more action scenes from the movie. But uh, this one has a special dark gray and black paint. It also got, let me show you, it's got three Imperial symbols, one on each side of the back of the bike, and one right here. One thing I wish they would redesign these speeder bikes, <coughs> if you get one or if you have one, Sorry, I've got a bit of a cough. Be careful with it. Don't like slam it down or try not to drop it because uh, this is rather fragile on the bottom. I wish they'd redesign it a bit sturdier. Anyway, we'll go through the, uh, the Storm Commando, as they call him. Here he is. He's got, aside from the obvious dark gray and black paint, he's also got an Imperial symbol right here on his, on his chest one side give you a good look at him if you have any speeder bike uh, or excuse me scout troopers from anywhere from power of the Jedi up you know OTC or um, 30th anniversary I know they had a couple of them or uh, some special battle packs they're basically the same with this guy the only difference is his legs are slightly spread more the gun is the same I wish he would have come with a special gun but he didn't and of course the holster on his ankle, traditional speeder bike holster on his ankle. Yeah, he stays on the bike rather well because of the, the legs being slightly more spread. Um, it is a cool paint job, I will give them that. They did do their homework here. I've got like, I've got three Biker Scouts open. One is actually from uh, the uh, Shield Generator Assault Pack and two are 30th Anniversary, which are repacks of earlier ones. They're basically very close up from Power of the Jedi on up. <coughs> but I will go through his articulation anyway, all right? We've got it down here. Of course, he's got a ball-hinged neck. He's got a swivel, a swivel torso. He's got a ball-hinged shoulders, elbows, knees, and ankles. Um, his helmet does not raise. I know they have made a couple special sp uh, biker scouts in the past. One is with the at, -AT Walker from Saga. Toys R Us exclusive, and another is from the commemorative tin packaging. They both have a flip-up helmet. It would have been a cool feature, but he doesn't have it. I think that was made before his time, I think. Actually, he's 0607. It's about the time of the at, -AT Walker. They could have done it. They didn't, though. Too bad. Um, he's also got swivel hips and forearms. And, of course, as I said, the holster on the ankle. Um, there was another Biker Scout release. He was actually from... Uh, Battlefront 1, he was the sniper. I just thought of that. <clears throat> anyway, I do appreciate the cool paint job on this guy. And um, there's a heavy Imperial collector. A lot of you know I am. There, there's a difference between the Clone Wars collection and the Empire collection. Uh, the Clone Wars, I know they have a lot of cool colors and features. I don't necessarily collect the Clone Wars, but I do notice them when I go to the store. <coughs> you know, there's like the scuba guy and like the skydiving guy. There's, there's a bunch of different ones and that is cool to have like a collection of uh, like a lot of different colors and stuff of features on your guys but uh, one thing with the Empire is more sameness. You want like all your stormtroopers to look the same. You know a lot of your Imperial officers to look the same 
well, not exactly the same in the face, but <coughs> uniform wise. <coughs> but um, every now and then, it is cool to get someone like him a unique part of your collection. Uh, uh, you've seen some of my displays before, like I love the OTZ TIE Fighter Pilot, but I also have the 181st TIE Fighter Pilot that came with the 30th Anniversary TIE Interceptor. And I also have, uh, among my other Stormtroopers, I've recently added a, uh, from the uh, Battle, not Battlefront, um, <coughs> excuse me, I have a cough, the Force Unleashed game, I've added the Stormtrooper Commander. And now, with my regular Biker Scouts, I'm gonna have this guy. So, um, I do like some variation myself, I will admit. Um, overall, this is a pretty good, this is a pretty good packaging, and this is a pretty good figure. If you get this, you may not want to open it, you may want to keep it. Sure, it also comes with this, it's a cool cardboard cutout of the Biker Scout. I wish I could have shown it to you, um, when it was sealed up, but it was just too much reflection off of it. Uh, this is pretty cool, and overall... I'm going to give it an 8. It may have gotten an 8.5 if he would have had a flip-up helmet, maybe a better bike, not just a repaint, but uh, it is pretty good overall. <coughs> it's good collectible. And as I said, it's unique in my collection. So overall, this thing gets an 8.5, and, a half, and uh, you can only get it at a Comic-Con. I believe it's been re-released since its original 06 or 07 date, and um, you can probably find it on eBay or a local comic shop like I did. <laughs> okay, so this is Supreme signing out, and thanks a lot for tuning in, YouTube.